I'm the non-flying pilot. If no light up within 10 seconds, timing. 10 seconds, no light up, right fuel lever shut. When I hear the word shut or confirmed, I will carry out that action. Memory items completed. Flying pilot will think, crikeys, I've just lost half my power. And if my power levers are not in detent, I'm going to increase the power that I've got. At 160 knots, my power normally is 40% torque. Right? Yes. So, I'm not going to sit there with 40% torque because if I do, what is going to happen to my speed? My speed is going to gradually, 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 gradually come right back. If it comes back, now I've got to work hard to bring it back up to what I want. So I don't let it drop off in the first place. I say, crikeys, I've just lost half my power. I'll take 75% torque. And then I might find 70% is all right, but I'll go for 75 initially. Or, if I was in a critical situation where I have just collect, selected climb on the ERP and climb part is set, I'm in IMC conditions, in the climb out, in the very early phase, I would say select ERP to go around and get maximum power until I work out where I am and what I'm doing. Or I might be in visual conditions and quite happy that I've got terrain clearance. I would then probably say select MCT and adjust. So it depends. If I was at flight level 250 and I'm just about to start descent, I would say leave it on cruise. So you have to think of the circumstance that you've got. All right, at 160 knots, controllability is no problem at all. Very, very easy to control, even down to 140, 130, it's still quite okay. On takeoff with a heavy aeroplane on a hot day, it is a bit of a handful, and you have to work reasonably hard to fly the aeroplane accurately. Flap. 5 is better than flap 15, of course. Flap 15 is more difficult for two reasons. One, you have a lower V2, and the lower the speed, the less slipstream over the empennage, the less strip, uh, uh, slipstream over the rudder, uh, the bigger the deflection of the rudder to counteract the asymmetry. And, of course, you get more drag with flap 15 than you get with flap 5, so the performance is not as good either. That's why, if we can, we always take off with flap 5 rather than flap 15. Flap 15 lowers the stalling speed, and if you lower the stalling speed, you lower your V1 and V2, which means that you can take off on a shorter runway. But if we possibly can, we take off with flap 5 because we have a better performance in the second segment in the case of an engine out. All right, so we check the controllability of the aircraft at various speeds. We're going to deliberately slow the aircraft down uh, with some flap and the landing gear to show you that it is a lot more difficult to fly the aircraft on one engine at low speed than it is to fly the aircraft.